Folks, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm here with this beautiful young lady. My mom is here with us today. Randy, as you know, from our Levo, as we call him, who does our uh, Voices from the Streets and runs the homeless ministry with us here. You know, we wanted to give you a little bit of an update as to what's happening uh, with the homeless ministry, and a lot has happened this week. Um, Saturday, they put a, a fence around the bridge so we can't get into it any longer. Really interesting, and then they, they posted a sign that said that it was uh, trespassing now if you went under the bridge for the homeless, for anybody. And then they cleared everybody out and leveled it. And so here we are down under Jefferson Bridge. They have removed all of our homeless folks and fenced in the entire area. When we came down to serve this morning. We uh, still served a few folks. Um, and I got some information from those folks onto where everybody has moved and camping, but uh, yeah. Close off. So we were kind of happy to see them clear a lot of the people out because there were a lot of criminals there actually left under the bridge. But we didn't want them to clear us out. So uh, we can't get under there anymore. And also, they're selling the land underneath us uh, where we have Tent City, the other place that we serve. And there are, how many people, Randy, would you say are, are at Tent City? Oh, wow. I'd say uh, there's probably around 200 uh, people who live in Tent City. About 200. Yeah. And probably a few more now that they've closed the bridge down and some of the people have moved there. Yeah. But they're about to be uprooted as well. Our challenge for the future is to find them. Yeah. Because there's no place for them to go. They've given some of them housing, very few. And, um, and it's just temporary, so they'll be on the streets again. But we, um, our challenge now is to find them and to serve them as best we can. And, and so that will involve a little bit of, uh, well, a, a little bit of a, of a different way of serving for us. Now, we've been used to showing up in a truck, putting out the tables, pulling down the steam table, you know, setting everything up and the table for them to eat at, and then, and then they're, um, you know, they're eating outside. But Randy, that's not going to be possible anymore. No, uh, we, um, well, as you know, uh, which uh, was your great foresight, we, we have the bus. Now. We have a bus and, that was donated to us. Yeah. We're off, and it's an awesome bus. Yeah. Our yeah. bus is an awesome <laughs> bus, just want to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the wheels on the bus go around and around. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, really close to finishing. We had to do some uh, work on the bus. Um, and with the cold and COVID and folks, uh, there being a lack of um, uh, workers and, and, yeah. and, and different things, we've had to wait on some folks who were helping us to fix the bus. Yeah. But the good news is, the wheels on the bus go <laughs> round and round. Yeah. Now they do. Now it was just parked before. Now it works. Yes, we, yeah. <laughs> we had a, a great uh, mechanic, Andy, who uh, yeah. is uh, awesome, and he came in and uh, put our couple of things that we needed: our turbo and our EGR, and now we're up and running. And we're really close to uh, getting our uh, the inside finished to uh, get ready to serve. And uh, so now our goal is, we know we're a, f 
uh, uh, know where a few smaller camps are, and we kind of know where people are going, but uh, we're basically going to be going from camp to camp to camp, right? Yeah, you know, and it's a wonderful thing. They can come on the bus, sit down and eat, and then exit, and the next group can come on. And Randy, we figure we can serve 30, 40 people on the bus somewhere in there. We'll find out when we get all done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but air conditioning and uh, um, heat in the winter and air conditioning in the summer. And yeah. We're going to put in a, uh, a window for the places that we are able to serve from the bus. That's not going to be every place, but there will be some places uh, where we'll be able to still kind of put a couple picnic tables out. Almost like a food truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we'll still be able to interact, which is a big part of our ministry, creating that family environment. And yes, being really important for us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, Mom, you and I drove down last Sunday morning just to kind of see what was going on. They had put the fence up. Um, obviously, things had changed. <laughs> That was kind of a, a sinking feeling for us, wasn't it? It was. We've been under the bridge for, uh, well, 17 years this year, I think. And that's a long time. And uh, we've got a lot of great memories. A lot of great people. And a lot of great people. And, you know, and some of the folks that we serve, Mom, they've been with us the whole time, haven't they? Yes. And uh, we are family to them. and. And uh, we've got a lot of newer ones. And uh, Lebo, you've done a great job with getting to know some people. We we actually um, have a lot of folks that meet us when we get there and help to set up. You know, they're really into it and very supportive. If you followed um, the uh, Voices from the Street podcast, he's interviewed some of the folks. You can really get to know their hearts and stuff too. But moving forward, we really do need your help. We don't have all of the funds to complete the, the bus transition, and I, we're at that place where we've got to get it done so that we don't miss a beat in helping to serve our homeless friends. And then we'll kind of keep up to date with you. You know, the, the greatest joy of this ministry has not only been in serving the people, but it's been in watching you stand in the gap with us. I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. And your giving and your prayers and your support for this ministry has meant the world to us. And uh, it's what keeps the wheels on the bus going round and round from this point on. But we, uh, we appreciate it. If you could, could uh, help a little bit. Um, let me just show you, we showed you the fence just a few minutes ago around the, the, um, the perimeters of the bridge. Let me show you a little video of some of the people we serve at Tent City. Say hey y'all. Hey y'all. Bob said <laughs> he wanted us to take some video. <laughs> you can see they're great friends, good friends and people that are there whenever we come down every day. And so thank you for helping us continue. Um, if you'd like to help support the ministry, the link is below. And God bless you. <laughs>